Hi Taurus, let's see if we can find out what you need to know about this person. Yeah, we're going, to, I'm going to see if I can tap into your higher self, into your guides, your angels, the universe, the divine, all those guiding protective energies over you and find out what you need to know about the person you're inquiring about. Mm -hmm. If this reading doesn't resonate, check out your other sign positions. Your moon, your rising, or Venus sign might resonate a little bit better. Also, I do the extra wild card reading for when none of your sign positions resonated. I might have picked up your energy there. So, just know, in this reading, I'm tapping into your higher self, your guides. I won't invite your person's energy in until the end of the reading, and we'll get a brief message from them at the end of the reading. But right now, the door's closed to their energy right now. We want to hear from your higher self. This is for my Taurus and the person they're inquiring about. What do they most need to know about this person right now? What's really important for them to know about this person right now? This is for my Taurus. Hmm. My person, Taurus's person. What do they need to know? Oh, I'm feeling that bottom one standing up. We've got, oh, somebody wanting to take a leap of faith and fly. <laughs> you see, we got flying in that picture. Ooh, what else? What else? This is for my Taurus's person. Mm -hmm. mm, there it is, y'all. Mm. I'll trust. Trust issues, the key card. The key card is always about trust. Trust is the, you know, the foundation of uh, our relationships. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's pull the Romance Angel Oracles to get some more detail on this situation, on this person. What are they saying? They want to take a leap of faith, maybe. They want to fly. But they're having some trust issues right now. Let's focus on that. Taking that leap of faith with this card. On that flying leap of faith. Just walk off that platform and see if we can sprout some wings. Ooh, express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. Ooh, somebody's wanting to. That's what they're wanting. Ooh, is this one going to... No, let's... let's Pull it back. Let's go on this trust issue. Trust issue. The key card. Give us info on that key card. Ooh, I think that one's it. Let your friends help you. Ask for and accept support from others. Ooh, okay. Let's pull it all together here into one last card. So you know they're more than likely reaching out to friends for advice, true love. This is the romance of a lifetime. Oh, my Taurus. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Sounds like we got some money. Like, almost crushing. Almost crushing. Mm-hmm. But wanting to step forward, wanting to give us some attention and stuff, but they seem to be afraid to. Uh, let's go ahead and pull on that trust issue. Ask your higher self to tap into their higher self and find out what they're not trusting. What is the trust issue? The key card. Can we get some information about the key card, please? Any information about the key card? Hard. What's not trusting? What are they having issues trusting? Their self? What? What are they not trusting? Key card, please. Ooh, we got strife of five of wands. Sometimes five of wands. Ooh, let's pull that one. I was getting ready to push it. 
Oh, they're in protective mode. The Seven of Wands, protective mode. Uh huh. Um, competition is what I'm picking up. They're they're wondering if there's someone else uh, that you're uh, connected with right now. If there's a competition, they may be asking friends that might know you. What else? They're still in self-restriction until they know for sure that there's not someone else or that you're not interested in someone else. Uh, they're going to hold their self back. Ooh, okay. Let's shuffle again here. What does my Taurus need to know? Hmm. Are you with someone else, Taurus? Are you with someone else? Is this a true crush? Is there someone else? Hmm. So hang on, let's see what your higher self's gonna bring through. I'm just uh, letting my own questions roll through my mind. Because they're worried. It's evidently, like I said, more than likely, um, we know we are like friend of a friend each of us that may be the one common thing we have between us is a friend because this person would be like inquiring about you to build that trust of whether they want to take that leap of faith and they're probably also inquiring of this friend that's between the two of you if uh, they think you would find them interesting so, yeah. So, what else is our higher self going to tell us about this person? Ooh, we've got tower challenges. Mm -hmm. What else? Clearing the way. Our judgment. Rebirth, resurrection, reinventing ourselves. Mm hmm. Charity card, very loving, giving person this is. Ooh, I'm wanting to pull that bottom energy. Let's pull it out. The full card. The full card. Oh, my goodness. What else? What else? Here, this is telling me a whole lot about the magician card. Yeah. What else? Ooh, defeat card. They've been defeated before. So, with these cards, what is telling me, your higher self telling me about this person's energy is they have been through a hard time, hard time, a destructive moment in their life where they feel like things have been taken from them, snatched out from under them. So, yeah, they're really worried. That's part of their trust issue. They're, they are stepping back, putting their self back out into the world. They're coming back out, you know, into opening their self up to love again. I don't know how else to put that other than they're ready to lo give love another chance. Because this is a resurrection card. Your person is coming across uh, the energy I'm picking up. I kept thinking um, maybe I should pull energy cards here. I don't think I need to because this one immediately popped as a representation of your person's energy. They are very loving earth energy, good energy for Taurus energy. That's Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. They're very loving, nurturing uh, giving kind of person. And that's probably why they're so... Uh, cautious with uh, stepping out, meeting someone new, and really needing to, you know, reconfirm, reaching out to their friends and stuff. What do you think? That kind of thing, because they give so much of their self in in a relationship and connections. It seems to be a pattern for them to do that, and they can get hurt. You know, they, you know, they're the type of person that give and give, you know, and the people they're drawn towards them is the ones that just takes even the breadcrumbs from them and doesn't give much back to, to uh, help replenish them. They always get, it's an unequal giving. Uh, so, yeah, we could it, it possibly be a Virgo energy. 
uh, a lot of times Virgo energy uh, comes across like that for me. But this one is, they're, they're wanting to work some magic. They're wanting to work some magic and take that leap of faith. They're wanting to uh, uh, approach you, express some love. Um, I think we've already, for them to have this kind of feelings and stuff, we've already met them. Uh, so that's the reason they're asking, taking so much time asking advice from friends. And like I said, we may have one particular friend or a couple that actually, you know, that know us both. And this person would be inquiring because one thing they don't want to do is come into uh, a connection with someone where there's competition or a lot of strife, things like that. So, yeah. Oh. Oh, I like that. Good energy, though. The, the person is just very, very cautious right now. Let's go ahead and pull the tarot in translation. This is uh, Journey of the Heart or Journey of Love. I will. This is Susan Dawn's deck. Uh, I try to remember to put uh, the actual name of it in a link in the description box for in case you're interested this with this I'm asking your higher self to clue us in what is the energy out in front of us for the next two weeks my Taurus this is a timeless reading so whenever you find it consider it two weeks out in front of you one to two weeks what will the energy in this connection between the two of you look like then hmm. see where we're going with this well, my Taurus and their person. Their person sounds really beautiful. Just hurt and vulnerable right now. Four of Pentacles. You're, you are, you are, Four of Pentacles, okay. Y'all give me a minute. My, I, my brain will slow down. Are you blocking love by holding yourself back? Allow the love between you and your partner to flow freely with an open and unguarded heart. Ooh. So, this person may still be holding back a little bit. So, yeah. And like I said, they've been through some rough stuff. They really have. They've been used quite a bit and taken advantage of quite a bit. Very open and given person. So, things are going to go really slow with this person. Eight of Wands. Oh, I like this. Your relationship is picking up momentum. Either in communication commitment or physical partnership allow yourself to go with the flow and see where it leads yeah so we are going to be uh, interacting talking communicating uh, the physical you know like going out or physically face to face with each other but just know your person is still a little bit guarded it's going to take them a minute to feel like they're safe and you know putting their heart out there for you so let's go ahead and get messages from your higher self in this this is for my torch from their higher self from the their guides they're guiding and protecting spirits that are over them it's for my Taurus. what advice will you give them for this Ooh, i like this torch because i'm i'm a, ooh. your person is is beautiful I don't know how else to put it. They're beautiful. They got a beautiful soul. And very timid. I'll say very timid. Let's get our advice cards here. It's for my Taurus from their higher self, from the divine, gods, angels, all their guidance, protective forces. Seek divine inspiration. Mm-hmm. When with this one, watch for clues and signs uh, to help guide you in knowing what to say and do with this person. Mm -hmm. And it, also look for the confirmations because I got uh, what I'm hearing is like your higher self's going to give you confirmations that that this is the right person. You're going to know. You'll get a sign from them. Shift your focus. Shift your focus, yeah. We, uh, the, the fact that this person is very guarded, uh, very timid, 
in their standoffish sort of, uh, you're going to be one doing more of the talking communication because I, I'm sensing them a little more of a quiet person. Uh, and you might feel like you're because you're having to lead them into conversations, you're having to ask them questions about their self rather than them divulging everything about their self to you all at once. You may feel like, well, I don't think they're interested, but just know your, your higher self is telling you watch for signs and, and re shift that focus, shift the way you're thinking back to realizing and seeing the person in the moment of how they feel scared, scared, that kind of thing. Because the more you interact with them, the more they're going to feel comfortable to open up. It's just a slow process for this person. Look at life with fresh eyes. Yeah. Oh, I like that one. Let's pull the bottom one here. You already know the way. Uh-huh. You already know the way. And connect with your inner guidance. Yeah, through this connection until till you know it, there's no doubts in your mind and that person's mind. Follow your higher self. Watch for confirmation signs. Because there's a divine guidance uh, leading you through this one. It's a good person, good energy for my Taurus. I really like that. It's just going to take a little bit of extra attention and effort to get this person to open up. So, yeah. Ooh. What are we going to do now, guys? Let's go ahead and open up the reading to your person's energy. Ooh. I got chills. And see if they'll give us a couple of messages. Ooh, which deck? Which deck? Mm. Let me decide here, guys. I'm looking at all my message decks here. Mm. Okay, I want to go with... We're going to go with the butterfly. Transformations. This is for my Taurus's person. Please allow them to speak through this deck. Mm, Taurus. Anything you want to say, and we'll take our time. You can pop out anything you want to say. Inviting your energy forward. See if you can speak to this Taurus. Ooh, I'm a Taurus energy. Mm -hmm. Here we go, guys. Let's see what they're going to say. Ooh, first one. I figured it was going to take a minute. You turned me on in so many ways. Ooh. Ooh, Taurus. My feelings for you are real. <laughs> yeah. Do you remember that, Taurus, when you start doubting it? My feelings for you are real. I just don't, I can't show them yet. I am beyond crazy about you. Oh, my goodness. I feel so tempted by you all the time. Oh, they be asking their friends all kinds of stuff. We're going with this bottom energy. What does it say? I never expected to meet someone like you. Wow. Oh, and that is your person. That is your person. That's their, their pattern in relationships of... It's a hard thing for them to tell you what they need because they're always looking at you going, What do you need? What do you need? That kind of thing. Mm-hmm. Ooh. What else? What else? I wished I could be honest with you. Yeah, they're and don't take it as they're lying. This is just withholding, not divulging straight up without being asked. They're very honest. A very honest type of person. If you ask the right question, that yeah, they'll answer it. But you got to ask the question first. Yeah, I'm willing. I'm willing, willing to give it a chance to open up and be able to, to relax into a conversation with you. Our next one, we are using conversation with counterparts. This is another one of Susan Dawn's deck, which I absolutely love and adore. Her and the deck, yes. Thank you. My Taurus's person to keep speaking through the cards, please. 
anything they want to say through this one. Anything you want to say. Ooh. That bottom one wants to come up. Allow this love to unfold perfectly. Perfectly. Yes. Allow it. Please don't rush. That's like saying, please don't rush it. Rush me, please. I need to think things like my life is better with you. Uh huh. The thought of their life with you sounds really good to them. We are miles apart, but you're always in my heart. Uh huh. What else? I'm feeling this little lower one here. Let's grab it. I'll bring you the stars. Ooh. Bring you the stars. Do we want that one? Yeah, let's take that one. I'll never give up on us. Mm. Your person like is, yeah. That's the reason they're asking friends and stuff. Mm -hmm. My heart is guarded at the moment. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Absolutely is. Okay, my Taurus, that's all I have for us, guys. I'm sending you love and light. Many, many blessings as always. Thank you so much for visiting my channel. I hope I'll see you again next time. Bless be.